All right. This is definitely a little too loud. I don't know why I didn't notice this last time. That should be a little better. Let's turn it down to about there, I think. That's probably good. <sighs> and just make sure that everything is working before we get started. Officially. The randomizer on the screen. That's good. Alright, I think we've got everything in order. So. Hello, everybody. My name is Space Cadet Eleven. I keep slurring that, but whatever. <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of. Well, another stream of Splatoon 2's Final Splatfest. This is day two of three. Tomorrow is day three, I suppose. I'm on Eastern Standard Time, so technically for me it runs until Sunday at eight in the morning. Uh, forewarning, I will not be waking up that early in the morning to play on Sunday, so, or stream at all in general that morning. Um, but yeah, at this point, I have uploaded the first stream to YouTube, so if you've missed that, then, well, you can check that out. I suppose it's there to document the, uh, final Splatfest for Splatoon 2. Um, yeah, let's get into, uh, this final Splatfest again. Second day in a row thing going on here. Y'all feeling fresh out there? We're off the hook, coming at you live from the middle of Inkopolis Square. All the usual text. Splatocalypse is here, time to forge the world of your dreams. Head over to the Splatfest terminal and pick a side for the last time. And the Splatfest stages are... Blam! New Albacore Hotel. Um, Alright, Anne Murray Towers. And of course, Shifty Station. I don't know what versions of Shifty Station that is right now. I know somebody put together like a comprehensive list or something, but. Oh yeah, and you might have noticed my transition wasn't really working properly last time. So I swapped it for the fade transition just to make it a little nicer on the eyes because it was a little jarring. Uh, I need to, real quick, just to... I need to get a... Yeah. I, I, sorry, I need a thumbnail picture, yeah? There we go, perfect. I can use that. I can use that. I can figure out which one of those frames is best and use it. That's for when I upload it to YouTube later. <laughs> All right. Well, if you watched last stream, you know the deal by now. I got the randomizer here. It's a very simple randomizer up on the screen right now. Uh, all I gotta do is click this button here, and it gives exactly what I have on right now. This was the last one it gave me yesterday. Um, I'm gonna reshuffle that, yeah? I, I think everybody could agree that's a good course of action here. Classic Slosher. All right. So, get the randomizer up off the screen. That was that was something that just happened. For some reason, I'm burping a bunch. Just classic slasher. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. All right. 
might, I might, I'm probably going to do the uh, randomizer more because it's kind of fun to just test out uh, my ability with different weapons. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume down for the game just a little bit more, I think. Um, actually, if I can, I'm just going to open up a new tab real quick just to It's taking a little while to join a battle, okay. Okay, I just want to get my uh, stream open on my other monitor here. You know how it is. Okay. I just wanted to get that all set, yeah? Alright. There we go. And let's actually get into a battle this time. <laughs> We've got a couple of queens here. And then me the fiend, and then the fangirl in Kingdom. Um... I am the second lowest leveled player on my team, and the other team is severely out-leveled. <laughs> um, I can see where this one's going already. I feel like higher leveled players... I mean, this is probably just a... just bad... bad matchmaking on the, the game's part. I don't want to, like, jump to any conclusions here. Oh, dude! Calamari Incantation! Sweet! Oh, this, this is the spicy one, too. This is, like... This is, uh... From Splatoon 2's final boss fight. Spoilers. Hi. Oh no. That was that was severe focus there. I'm gonna like move my microphone away from my mouth there just a little bit. It's a little bit better when I'm not breathing into my microphone. I'm sure. You could agree with that statement. Your your ears thank me. <laughs> and they're in danger already. I'm dead already. Okay. Uh, maybe you should spend less time doing that and more time just inking derp. Yeah? I think we can both agree on that. Okay, I'll help out here. Okay. Well, focus isn't really needed now, I think. I think we've got this on lock for the time being. Ha. <laughs> beef, oh, beef oven. I like it. I like it. I, I really like what they did with the music for this final Splatfest. I just wish all of the, uh, the music was in the, uh... I got him. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. I wanted to do the same thing he did to me earlier, but whatever. We're good. Might as well not get into a troll war or something. We have bottlenecked them on a stage that's nearly impo um, impossible to bottleneck people on. Got him. Cool. 
I didn't talk enough that match, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> I, I was too mesmerized by the, uh, the music. At this point, I'm still, like, still can't get over the fact that I had a tied game last, yesterday. And communication errors occurred! Uh, gladly it will give me those points. I think. I'd be pretty upset if it didn't give me the 1500 or 1600 that it deserved. Yeah, yeah I think it, I think he gave it to me. We're fine. We're fine, we're good, everything's good, we're fine. And I got the, uh, the rank up to Defender. So that's pretty good. It's not a bad, bad thing. At least that didn't happen during the match. Oh, darn. I meant to randomize. That's the problem with having a randomizer that, like, isn't in the game. <laughs> I want I want that for uh, Splatoon 3. That's, like, my, my biggest thing on the wish list is, like, um, an actual random option for your weapon. Uh, I have to do something real quick. On the side here. Something I can do quite easily. I believe. Not during the match, but in between matches. I have this thing on my phone that I need to take care of in matches. This is a good stage. We got I don't I didn't care to check the name of the stage, but you know, sometimes it's just how it happens. I love the fact you can go into ink with that. It's so much better than, than the ink strike was. Alright, I'll try not to be as mesmerized by the music this time around here. And I'm dead. I love, I gotta, I gotta say, like, I love the, the team colors that we've got going here. Like, the silvery and gold. It's good. I, I gotta send out the booyahs, you know how that is. Oof! Okay, I'm dead. jump in like a smart person as opposed to just not doing that like a dumb me. And oh no. This this can't this can't be good. Not at all. We need to take this back now. I'm an outing. Oh my goodness, that was so dumb. That jump, that me jumping in there, that was, that was really what got us. That was, that was game over, man. Game over. Oh well, that happens sometimes. This is how Turf War goes. Turf War is how Turf War does.
And we did pretty decently, though. You know? Tr did pretty de decently for ourselves. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, this time, I'm not going to forget to... Uh, I'm not going to forget to randomize this time. That's, that's a good idea, right there. Um... But I'm also going to go to Krusty Sean real quick. And just grab myself a food ticket. I'm a little distracted, sorry. <laughs> of course, get the Galactic Sean Witch. Mainly because I don't need the money at the moment. And I don't really have any drink tickets that I want to use. Um, so basically just go for as much experience as I can. Uh, and let's go for the randomizer, shall we? Uh, give me just two seconds to get that up. Maybe more than two. Okay, maybe I lied. Um, maybe I should take this one out of the pool. <laughs> Custom Hydra Splatling. Um, okay. This isn't one I use often. There's regular Hydra Splatling. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Like... I like it for some modes. Like, for... Definitely not for Turf War. <laughs> it's kind of bad for, for Turf War. But it's what the randomizer gave, so... That's what I have to go with, right? Unfortunately... That's, that's, that's the rules. Randomizer gives, and randomizer takes away. Ugh. Well, this is gonna be fun. Oh, I forgot to check what the, uh... I'm, I'm gonna check real quick what, um... Main power-up does. And, and I'm just gonna go into the lobby from here instead of walking. <laughs> Damage! Damage increase? What? Okay. I didn't honestly expect that. That's like... That's a lot of damage. Which Wish I had a soundboard for that going. Okay. Alright, towers. Alright. Here goes nothing. Honestly wish that it increased charge speed for the Splatling, but you know what? Why is Kalmar Incantation playing every match? I don't think we've gotten anything else. He is probably stupid confused as to why there is a Hydra Splatling in a turf war match. But you know what? If it works for no reason, it works. This should not work. But the stage pick, Randomizer knows how to give. You can't get me. Okay. They know how to pick their targets, I guess. Um, they certainly know how to pick the... Know how to pick a hydra splatling out of a crowd, yeah? 
I'm just gonna kind of. My strategy for this match is basically just going to be stand up on this ledge, uh, cover ground back here, Walk, keep an eye out on any loose ends like this guy over here who's uh, just about there. Come on. Come after me. There you go. You know exactly the wrong thing to do to... Whoa, thank you. There's that damage increase helping out. And there's the teammates helping out. There's me helping out the teammates in turn. This is a symbiotic relationship we've got going. I, I give them armor and they give me protection. So basically we're just giving each other protection. So I'm giving them I'm giving them protection in the form of uh, ranged not doing anything except for pressing button, and they're giving me protection by staying close by when enemies are near. <laughs> Oh, that that worked out way better than expected. Whoa, okay. I am taking a capture of that. I I really do enjoy playing as Splatlings. It's <laughs> Splatlings are a lot of fun for me. They're they're kind of my, my um They're kind of my noob tube though. They are really good. I'm I'm good at them. I'm decent at them. Having a controlled range that's like really strong. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how else, how else to explain it. Like it's better than charger for me because it's less aim more more, more just shoot. <laughs> All right. Let's get the randomizer up. Here we go. And randomize flings a roller the flings a roller going. Um, if I sound tired, it's partially because I am and partially because I am. So basically entirely because I am. <laughs> As is evidenced by my uh, lack of coherent sentence. Is... I don't know. I don't even know how to English today. Um... Do the special charge, maybe. Eh. Now let's let's stick with um. Let's do the forge mask actually, because that that special power up kind of looks a little intriguing, and increases damage. That's not too too helpful, but might as well. Hmm. All right then. <coughs> Excuse me. Perhaps that's all I needed. Grappling curl. This is one of the shifty stations. This is a pretty good one. I think this was an earlier Shifty Station, though. I'm glad they're bringing them all back and allowing us to use them in special friends' room Surf Wars. They also made, like, an ink color selection for that, too. If you saw that, that that looks pretty cool. That's I think I saw that on, like, um, on somebody's Twitter? I'm not sure. I'm not on Twitter typically, but I saw it in like the Google News feed, so. A 
got him. I got him. I don't care. We're good. I, I heard... I heard something that I did not hear. I, th I did not think I heard properly, but I think I might have at the same time. I should have put down a splash wall. Why didn't I do that? Okay. Um, that's not going too good. Uh, we missed an entire area on the left here. I'm just going to buy and claim this in the name of Team Order. And this immediately gets claimed by Chaos's Tenta Missiles. I got someone. Okay, we're good. We got two teammates alive over here. Let's see what we can do with using these grapplings to our advantage, yeah? Taking this back. That's the damage increase that worked there. And that was bad aim at work there. Don't worry, I'm I'm bad at aiming in this game for some reason too. I think the motion controls are a little worse than in Splatoon 1. Probably not really anything that can be helped. Okay. That could have been helped, though. Um, please don't lose. I think we're good, but I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, we're good. This is close-ish, but not too, too close. It's fine. We're good. Alright. Oh. Getting close to level 58. I hate how much XP it takes to level up in this game. Like, it's it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount. Um yeah, let's do change gear and continue. As we should. And get the randomizer open. I would make a, a quote or something, but just randomize, I don't have a wheel. The Explosher. Okay. Little thing about the Explosher. Um, if I go to Favorites. I've used it recently. Like, uh, this, these two here. Um, these, actually, three, I suppose, are the ones I've been using, uh, a bit. Actually, four. Sorry. Not the gal. Not the gal, but these. These four I've been using re recently. Um, I've learned I'm actually pretty decent at the Explosher, in my own opinion. Probably not, like, pro-level decent or anything. What does this main power up to again? Ink coverage. That's perfect for this mode. <laughs> yeah, because the one the one downside to the explosher is it does not do good with ink coverage. But it's basically, if you know how to use it right, it basically acts as a longer ranged bamboozler with a different ink pattern. It's a bamboozler blaster slosher combo. It's it's that's the best way I can explain it. It's it's a lot less fast than the than bamboozler though. It's more like the speed of a Luna blaster. But the special being the bubble blower. Oh, did I 
I selected the wrong one. It gave me the regular splasher. I selected the custom one. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. We'll make it up somehow. Yeah, this is the custom one. I don't remember what this one has again. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Point sensor is not going to be very helpful. I don't think. One thing I don't like about Explosher is typically I find people don't trust me with it enough. Online, they'll just like, oh, rando with an Explosher. This is a, a lost cause game. That's kind of one thing you can't do in this game is just judge people based on what weapon they use because like, they can be really good with whatever weapon they decide to choose. You just kind of kind of got to take that leap of faith, and if you lose, you know, like, whatever, same result would have happened if you would rage quit, um, just without the penalty of, you know, not up being allowed to use the online for a bit. Okay, I'm just going to come down here, bada bing, bada boom. Lose my baller. It's fine. We're good. Not doing too good. Need more ink. I should have used it. Um, there's way too much going on for this. This stage is not big enough for this weapon. This stage is not vertical enough for this weapon. Okay. Fine. We can take this back still, definitely. One minute left is not that big a deal. Um, okay. We have to not let them take over everything. Actually, what? We're somehow keep getting them in danger? What is this? Gonna send them this way. I'm way out. Of, I'm out of ink all the time right now. That's why I was using the. Oh no! Oh no! No no no! Please, please no! Not looking too promising here. Whoa! By point. Five percent. We beat them by eleven points. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. Feels bad for the enemy team just a little bit, but not that bad. <laughs> Finally got to level fifty-eight. That's why I'm doing the uh, the Sean Witch boost. All right. Well. That was good enough, I think, for the Explosher. <laughs> this the custom Explosher close enough, yeah? I think so. Oh boy, we get NZAP 85. This is probably way over here in the favorites list. Mainly because I feel it's a little bit cheesy. And I don't like cheese. Well, I, I like cheese, but I don't like game cheese. I'm more of a gimmick kind of guy. I mean, this is the kid speaking that grew up with a Wii, you know? Good old, good old Nintendo Wii and their motion controls. And later I found out that nobody likes motion controls, and I was just like, I liked motion controls. 
I still like motion controls. <laughs> Especially the way Splatoon does it. And Wii Sports. Good old, good old Wii Sports Resort, you know. I am, I am a monster at the ping pong in Wii Sports Resort. Not like amazingly good, but pro level or whatever. But ah, I'm rambling now. Whatever. The Splatner Zones is what this stage is called. We have a lot of end zaps, so I do not feel bad in the slightest for this weapon choice. This does ha have a lot of ink coverage, especially with the main power-up going. And I'm getting the specials before I even run out of ink, so I can just use it now. Helps my friendo over here. Oh, we've got a teammate that's not doing too well. It takes six hits to get that guy. By my count. Got him. Okay, we're good. Uh, this is not going well. Just, just pointing that out. Uh, I think we have a. Yep, we have a disconnect on our team. It's not fair at all. How did that? Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so it is the dapples that are disconnected. Okay, we can make a push here. But yeah, that's that's what happens when you, uh, you get a disconnect in this game is... Especially in Turf War, you don't have enough manpower. One weak link and the entire chain falls apart. Oh, come on! Oh, they're Glugas. That makes more sense. I didn't realize they were Glugas. I thought there was, that was an NZF that was hitting me. Okay, I'm, I'm less oh come on oh come oning now. All right. This is just going peachy. Our team is not big enough to sustain all this influx of... Oh, that's a ledge. You know what? That, that was my bad. But this loss is not on me. I'm not familiar enough with these stages to know every ledge. Good strat with the splash wall going. My strat is hit the splash wall and bounce off, but use it as a uh, a way to propel myself. <laughs> Take damage to splash wall. I was gonna try to throw out a bomb, but it didn't come out in time. I literally just watched the clock tick over to 9:25. As that screen hit, so yeah, so uh, our our dapples did not join in, which means I will be giving the end zap another chance here. Prove my worth with the end zap. That's kind of my rule here. I might miss it occasionally, but that's kind of my rule. And by occasionally, I mean all the time. It's kind of a new rule. <laughs> As in, it only applies when I feel like it. <laughs> Team Chaos taking their sweet time.
All right. Our our team does seem to have a bit closer levels than their team does. I think I didn't quite see it very well. I'm gonna try to be a bit quieter if I can. Just for the people who are also in my house, because I'm not the only person who lives here, obviously. <laughs> New Albacore. This is a pretty fun one. I'm not 100% a fan of this stage, but it's better than Murray Tower's support mackerel. Oh, that's a jump. Hello, super jump to our spawn point or spawn location. Are they taken out? Yeah, I guess so. Actually, I'll help over here. There was nobody. I thought somebody was around. They can't hit me over here. Got him. Okay, we're good. I always thought the end zap had a bit of a, a quick kill. Oh no. Oh no no no. Uh-uh. You're not getting away with that. Is there any more in our area? There's too much enemy ink over here. There's one guy that's kind of annoyingly jumping around. From what I can tell. That was kind of a bad time to pop that, but I felt like it. Okay. Just heavy focus right now. Our teams do not seem very evenly matched. Got it. Sometimes you just gotta take the high ground. If your opponent can't see you, they can't spy you. That's how this works. Help our teammates out a little bit. Help our teammates out a little bit more. Why are there... got him. I don't care that I died. I got him. It's a lot less to worry about. I think Rush being gone for a second there too is, but... Is the only thing I was getting away with there. We thoroughly got that, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was good. Not too many splats going around on our team. We were fairly, uh, fairly peaceful. Okay. Nice. So something they changed about the Splatfest T was you can still scrub it for 2,000, but if you get to the third ability slot, Unlocking any more abilities will just turn them into chunks automatically. They'll overflow. So you don't have to constantly get out and back in. Which is pretty nice. I like it. That's a good way of doing it. Okay. So. Rapid Blaster Pro. No. Rapid Blaster Pro. No. I have no idea that that's being picked up in my microphone. I kind of hope not. But whatever. We're good. We're probably good. I think we're good. It's just a regular ass Rapid Blaster Pro, so... Let's see here. Um, 
There it is. Toxic Mist, I've said my feelings on before. I'll say them again. Not really a fan. Inkstorm, however, is pretty good. Uh, increases shot accuracy firing while jumping. I don't need that much of it. So let's just do some of that, I think. That's good. Yeah. Um. Still no idea if that's being picked up on my mic. It's a very, like, deep, low video, you know, sound. Kind of like that. this announcing guy, just uh, narrator. It's a little loud. I'm not too worried about deep. Alright, I mainly don't like this because it's so slow. It never fires when I need it to. It always fires when I don't need it to. That's probably a me thing, you know? That's probably just... Just me. But it's pretty good for this map, I think. Because I can, I can do zones pretty easily with it. Because it, it does lines. One shot does a lot. Oh, one direct and a indirect works. I did not know that. Okay, no ink on this surface. Got it. Or I need to throw it this way. Throw it up there. Do this. Nice. Got them with it. That's what I hate about this weapon, though, is, like, in order to get indirects, which is, like, it's one direct and one indirect, right? But in order to get indirects, you need to be at a distance. So, it's kind of like the optimal... You have to be far away to get the optimal splat. I don't mean to be squid flopping here, but... Unavoidable sometimes just due to game mechanics. Oh no, we're good. So we got a teammate back there cleaning up some of our our messes. We have a lot here. I'm gonna just clean up a little bit here. Oh no, we're we're kind of getting overtaken back. No. 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 Okay, that's fine. I got my special off first, so we're not losing too terribly here. Getting my special off first was the important bit. That's all that really mattered. Okay, they're, they're fading in and out of danger, so... assist there. It's not even an assist, that was just straight up. Alright. I think we thoroughly got it. Right there. That went well. Alrighty. It's nice. It's good. Didn't expect to do that well. But I will take it. Still kind of hoping my mesh sneakers get the uh, <laughs> the main power up, so I have an option as to which one I'm doing. But whatever. Randomizer. 
Undercover Sorellabrella. This one I don't think I've used. No, the the Kensa took over as my main uh, undercover umbrella. Speeds up canopy regeneration. Mmm, yes. Yes, I need that. I've I've seen undercover umbrellas which you lose it and you instantly get it back. It's a little bit broken. Let's let's do that. That is that sounds like a good plan to me. Part of me is like absolutely flabbergasted that there is already royalty on either team. But at the same time, I don't have as much time as on my hands as other people. <laughs> other people can just like play this all day without quitting. 10x! Okay. The the suspense there. The suspense there gave me a little a little bit of startle there, but we're good. I was I was kind of hoping for a hundred x, but you know, can't always. Just gonna ignore the, uh, the zone for a second. Just try to. Why are we losing? Why? Come on. Ran out of ink the second it mattered. Alright. I should have done the ink. The extra ink would have been really nice. Ink saver main is what I mean. It's taking a little too much. Alright. The uh, canopy is not helping. Not when I'm up against a bunch of short range. It's this here that hasn't been taken care of, and this here. Okay, I got. I helped out with him. on all right of course every time I get into one of these battles the opponent team is way out of our league which kind of stinks a little bit so I have I don't think I've ever won a 10x battle in my entire life in my entire life would mean that like this game has been out my entire life and the game hasn't now there's 10x battles, we've only been out about half a year. <laughs> Why? I I constantly feel overpressured. Like why is my team not able to do anything here? Oh boy, that's why. Because they've got a good roller. They've actually got all the good teammates. <laughs> uh, this... I haven't felt this... overwhelmed in this game for a long time. Alright, well we know the results of this one. This being a 10x battle hurts even more. <sighs> That's the only problem with using the randomizers. You can't always 
choose like an undercover umbrella is not exactly my first choice for a <laughs> turf war and then when it when you get a 10x battle and then all the opponents are really good too that just kind of kind of stinks just a bit all right well I'm going to put the quick respawn shoes on and we are going to randomize again because I never learn um I guess I'll take it clash blaster it is oh that's favorites okay clash blaster should be somewhere over here these are like weapons I never used since I first got them. Can't be that high up. I must have missed it. Yep, I did. <laughs> Fourth one. So basically, Dynamo Roller is, for me, a bad kit. Splatbrella, I use the hero version. Rapid Blaster. Don't care for Bla Rapid Blaster. The other one has a better kit. Clash Blaster. Uh, first off, where's the other Clash Blaster? There it is. First off, other one has a better kit. In, in For me, at least. I mean, neither kit is really that bad. Stingray is really good for some situations. I'm just bad at it. <laughs> um... I also really can't use the Clash Blaster. <laughs> shot accuracy. I don't really need shot accuracy. I'm going to put on some Sub Saver. Because I will definitely be using the Splat Bombs. And I will definitely be turning off the Randomizer. So that you can not be looking at that eyesore on the screen. <laughs> I'm 50 points away from becoming a champion. I'll probably be playing a little bit, you know, more after that, but no 10x battle for me. It's fine. I don't, I don't like Flash Blaster, so I'm fine with not having a 10x. The reason I don't like Clash Blaster is it feels, for me, like it's way too underpowered, but when it's in the other enemy's hands, it feels overpowered. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm not good at using it, and that it's super overwhelming to use, like, uh, to be used against you. Like, have you ever, like, ah, can, okay. My dad is like, he's been like learning videos on YouTube or something in the other room. And uh, it startled me. <laughs> okay, note to self, right side is not safe ever. I swear the only song that's been playing uh, today has been uh, Calamari Incantation. Alright, I do not like this weapon. Uh, that's why I don't like this weapon. Me using it feels like I can't do anything being used against me. I have no idea how to use it. I do anything against it. I got one. 
I feel like I should definitely be going for more direct shots, as opposed to what I have been doing. He was freaking out just a little bit. Hey, I got somebody with the stingray. For once. I'm very glad my teammate was using his special there. I didn't get to check the map like I wanted to before the end of the match there, but I think we pulled it out. That was a good game. Even though I feel dirty. <laughs> I feel dirty. I feel like scum for using the Clash Blaster. I can't believe I got 10 kills. That did not feel like 10 kills. And I'm a champion. Just a thousand more points before I become royalty. Um, probably two more games. Two more games and then I'm probably going to go. Maybe three. Depending. Uh, let's get the randomizer going. Ballpoint Splatling Niveau. Okay. Well... Let's find that. Inkstorm and Beacon. Alright. I can work with that. I can work with that. Inkstorm is pretty good, and Beacon can be useful, depending on the map. Probably not Mori Towers, but... Maybe something else. I'm, maybe maybe it could be useful in Mori Towers. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Uh, the ballpoint splatling is probably my least used of the splatlings. I want to be good at the Nautilus, but the the ballpoint. I think the Nautilus just kind of kind of outmatches in every case, every case, especially the kit, you know. I love how you can just keep doing... Okay. I completely forgot the gimmick here. Okay, can you stop that? Like, you're in a turf war. Every second counts. You wasting your time is not hindering me and it's not helping you. Also, why were they going after me? I like the varying range. That's probably the reason I've never really picked up the ballpoint splat language because like the the range change messes with me. Okay. 
At least I got my special out. That'll be helpful. Okay. Sorry, focus. Just extreme focus on, on right now. Commentating while playing is hard. I thought I saw an X on the... Uh, no, it was just a beacon. Okay, that's fine. I never used the beacon this match. I don't know why I kept the uh, hat on. I think we got this one. They were two points away. They were a bomb throw away. They were a drop away. Okay. Well then. Yeah, I'm thinking two more now, just seeing the time. Go until ten. I like the ball point. I didn't think I did, but I, I like it now. So that was that was good. Probably would use the other kit. Oh, okay. I meant to hit change gear and continue, but I guess the game said no, or at least my controller said no. <laughs> All right then. Well, I guess another match with the ball point it is, and turn off the randomizer. I guess. Um, only the second time we've played on Mario, I think. And you know what? I can live with that. Saving them now. No. Okay, they're going down. That's fine. I'd rather them go down than up, honestly. They're kind of just staying around that spot, though. Send as many booyahs that way if I can. I don't honestly care that I died. Our team is getting super deep into their territory at the expense of our team not caring about our territory. I've only ever seen this work out one of two ways. And it looks like it's going their way this time. Nice. Special is a very powerful yet kind of well balanced special. I like it. Inkstorm is still be definitely best for Turf War, though. Just gonna casually fall off back to this platform here.
Alright, I think we got this in the bag. That looks like it to me. <laughs> All right, one more game. That's it. That's it for the night. We have the randomizer now. Ready to randomize? Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take this one. Let's let's do it. Nzap eighty nine. Good kit. Um, which is better for turf war? Probably 89. Probably 83, actually. I'd prefer the 83, I think. Just because the Ink Storm is really good. Phantom Missile is not bad, though. Ink Armor... They, they, they made three end zaps and gave them all stupid good kits. I mean, Autobomb's not amazing. And Sprinkler's not amazing. But, like, this is good for turf war. This is good for ranked, like, tower control. And this is good for, basically, this is kind of good for both. Ugh. I really wish I liked editing stuff. We have a... I was about to say close range of levels, but then I noticed level 40 star. And the maps and modes have been updated. So, I guess game just said no. You don't get one more. No one more. No uno mas. And soft luck? I think game just soft locked. I think the game just soft locked. Well then. Hey, there we go. All right, you know, I'm going to keep to the one more. Walnut Warehouse, Snapper Canal, or one of the new two shifty stations. Which ones they may be? Who knows? <sighs> Lowest level in our team is level 23. Highest level on our team is level 21. Star. This is officially at the last one. They have more range on their side. We have fast weapons. I'm just gonna shoot over there because I know I can probably take this guy out, maybe. Oh, me and my friend here had the same idea. Oh 
my teammate out over there. They seem to be doing a bit more than we are at the moment. But for now, I'm fine with that. That's not too urgent. I mean, it's definitely urgent, certainly, but it's nothing too major at the moment. That's why I like my sub saver hat. No! Okay, this, this isn't good. This is getting out of hand here. We need to start making a comeback. Oh no. Their ink armor. There's too much ink armor on their team. What has ink armor there? Uh, I know the remix there. Maybe Splatling remix has blue yacht. Okay, I got both of them. We're good. Just run. Just run. Out. Spread out. Lay ink everywhere. Just go. Do it now. With utmost urgency. I don't care about you. Oh my goodness, this match is insanity. I wanted to use my Tentamus before I died, but I couldn't find a good time to do it. I don't think my intent missiles are going to take us out of danger or anything. That match just kind of... kind of didn't work in our favor. That's fine, though. You don't win them all. You don't. <laughs> uh. Using humor to mask true emotions. <laughs> A joke. A joke. Don't worry. I'm fine. We're good. That is the last one for the night, though. Getting tired. Need to sleep. Tomorrow is another long day. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in the stream. And if you're on YouTube, thank you for watching. Let's talk to Judd, get our our little special sea snail here. Special sea snail. Um If you enjoyed, leave a like, let me know how I'm doing. If you didn't, leave a dislike. That's there too. For a reason. You know, just let me know what you think. If you want to see more, subscribe. Also up to you. If you don't feel like it, you don't have to. And follow the Twitch channel if you want to see the streams as they come live. And until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.